This video is intended to demonstrate how to use the EBSCOhost database to find information for the Food Web Biology Project. First, you go to the library website. You go down to the teacher project links and Biology Food Web. When you're on this page, to get to the EBSCOhost database, you scroll down and select the first link under the EBSCOhost title. When you're in here, you do not want to begin your search right away. Instead, you want to click on the database list. You are now on a page with a number of different databases to choose from. Place a check mark by those databases that, you, that we want to use, including Academic Search Premier, Mass Ultra School, Master File Premier, Newspaper Source Plus, Science Reference Center, and Green File. Once you're done selecting all of those, click Continue. For the Biology Project, it is best to do an advanced search. So select Advanced Search below the search bar. You'll now be on a screen where you can enter in both your natural community and your threat to the natural community. So in my case, I'm going to enter in Southern Dry Forest and Gypsy Moth. Search. Now note this, this returns only one result. So uh, that is not enough. This article, when I look at it, isn't quite what I want. So I need to refine my search. So in order to do that, um, I will put forest instead of southern dry forest and leave gypsy moth and redo the search. The result is now 580 articles. So I do need to narrow these down. My first step is to click on the full text box. So I only find articles that are available in full text and not just summaries. Remember to update. Now I have 391 results. To refine my search even more, I narrow the date down using the scroll bar. I now have 189 Evan results. Evan so I can do one more way of refining this search. I can go on to subject. And if under subject I say show more, this shows me all of the possible subjects for this search. I choose the ones that are best in what I'm looking for. Remember to update your selections. I am now down to nine results. So if I want to view articles um, or summaries of articles, I can hover over the magnifying glass and it will show me a summary of the article. And if I want to select an article, I can click on the title. and or the PDF full text. And now I can either um, read the article online, I can save it here to my H drive, or um, I can email it to myself as well.